the powerhouse youth hitters tribunal. Yeah, yeah. Um, Karen Therese and Paul Dwyer and that lot. So, what's the what's the story there? Look, Karen came to me with this story. This is a show that's actually had done the rounds. It's mm. been around a bit, mm -hmm. and um, and she explained to me what the show was. I've not hadn't seen it at that point, and um, Ani Ronda. Uh, who who's plays, well, she's the Indigenous elder in the work. The sense of setting up uh, a place of discussion and debate. Now, I'm not going to suggest that uh, Aboriginal issues, Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander issues are easy. They're incredibly complex and that people have sometimes competing interests both within the Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander community, let alone outside of them. Uh, and so the, the, the idea of creating a space where discussion can happen and this idea of connecting the the culture of this land and its historical culture in terms of Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander people, the idea of the migrant culture that has come here from anywhere from Europe uh, and the waves of migration that have kind Africa, of occurred. Yeah, yeah. Africa, Southeast Asia, uh, the Middle East, uh, all of these things have occurred and that there needs to be a thread of discussion through all of them. You know, it's interesting that in 2020 we're going to be talking about James Cook and his 250th anniversary of him coming through this country. And you start to go, yes, but the Macassans were here before him. The Portuguese were here. Yeah. The French, the, you know, mm. the Dutch. This whole notion that, you know, this continent had um, a, a range of conversations with different cultures way before the British came through and planted a flag and said they owned it. Mm. So how do we um, create uh, venues for debate and discussion to occur and tribunals seem to be one of those things mm. so so for me it's 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 recently on what right migrants it's an audience of people who are thirsty for the debate and discussion and Aboriginal people setting up our tribunal mm. to talk through those things and as I understand it very strongly linked uh, in terms of what you might call post-colonial behavior or colonial behavior I guess um, in terms of indigenous the, the indigenous history and current asylum seeker, yes. like drawing very strong links Absolutely. between like Manus Island and yeah, yeah, and there's uh, there's also another um, uh, um, uh, a practice that Karen Therese does as an artist, which is come and work in the garden. Um, there's a family garden out in Fairfield, mm. which is there to grow food for recently arrived um, migrants, refugees who are you know who can't work because they don't have the visas to work but are living within the community and growing food and having a cafe style environment for uh, friends and family to come together. So people are invited to see the show but then to go out and work in the garden and work with the community mm. and experience the, the cafe environment for, for that debate to continue. Wow. Mm.